In this video, we'll write the isotope notation, also called nuclear notation, for the isotopes of bromine. So for bromine, there are two major isotopes, bromine-79 and bromine-81. So this notation here is called hyphen notation. With hyphen notation, this number here, the 79, that tells us the mass number, the number of protons and neutrons for the isotope. So bromine, we have these two isotopes, 79 and 81. So we have hyphen notation. Let's write the isotope notation, the nuclear notation. So that follows this general pattern here. So for example, with carbon, this would be the mass number here, and then we'd have the atomic number here, and this would be our element symbol. So let's fill this template here in for bromine 79. We write the element symbol for bromine, and then the mass number, we said the mass number is this number right here. So we just put a 79 up here, the atomic number for bromine is 35. And this atomic number is for all isotopes of bromine. It's always 35. So we're going to have a 35 down here. And that's the notation for bromine. Sometimes to show that this is neutral, there's no negative or positive sign here, you'll put a zero here. You'll see that from time to time. So pause and write the isotope notation here for bromine-81. So we write our element symbol for bromine. The 81, that's the mass number. Big number here, put this up top. And then for bromine, the atomic number, it's always 35. That's what makes it bromine. And because it's neutral, we could put a little zero up here to show that there's no charge on the bromine atom. Note that the only thing that is different here, that's the number of neutrons. So you could solve for the number of neutrons. You know the mass number and you know the number of protons, the atomic number, so you could solve for neutrons. This is Dr. B with the isotope notation, also called nuclear, sometimes nuclide notation for bromine, the isotopes of bromine. Thanks for watching.